Social anthropologists look at the human side behind all the news stories. So things like migration to Europe currently, or the Ebola crisis in West Africa, or whether it's female genital mutilation, and how we deal with that. Research-led teaching is a very important part of Deb's teaching approach, and in social anthropology we bring our own experiences of field research to our discussions in class, and bringing this real-world experience helps make it more relevant to the students. Well, all our students have the opportunity to go overseas and, and take the skills that we've taught them and the methods that they've learnt here and to put them into practice in an overseas country or a developing country or a so-called undeveloped country and then they bring those skills back and bring that knowledge back and they put that all together into their final piece of research, their dissertation. We got to do a module in research methods in anthropology. Um, it was a really practical module where we got to develop our own research project and I then went on to use these skills on my development work experience in India. One of the things I love about anthropology is that you learn the importance of local knowledge when implementing change. My favourite module gave me the opportunity to make my own film. Um, this now will allow me to go out into the field, conduct my own research using the methods I've picked up on the way. After doing anthropology, I feel that going to other cultures it helps me to understand um, the people and what they do and, and really get to know the world around me. I think any student who's interested in um, seeing global poverty and inequality challenged and is interested in the human side of those questions would do very well to come and study with us because we can guarantee you an incredibly interesting programme and one that's very useful for employment too.